everybody, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan here with another Plan With Me video. There you see my spread for October 2nd through October 8th in my mini happy planner. Uh, this week I used the Hello Autumn two page kit from the Sticker Genie and I just love the autumn colors. But for this week, the week of October 9th through October 15th, I'm actually doing a little uh, PR team planner collaboration where all of the PR team from planning like a pro are using this bossy planner kit um, So I'll just do a little quick flip through of the kit for you. So these are the full boxes You get six pages in this kit in total. So the full boxes the washi The uh, headers and the icons the glitter headers the date covers uh, some half boxes, quarter boxes, and checklists, and then some more checklists. So this is what I'll be using in actually all three of my planners this week. Uh, but in this video, I will be planning in my um, mini, ha my two mini happy planners, the main one as well as my journal. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I do is take the pages out of my happy planner and take out the post-its that I use for pre-planning. The next thing I do is I'm going to try and decide which full box I'm going to place in the corner of the week there in the bottom right hand. And I like that get it girl one. And then I place another one on Monday. So there's a bit of symmetry between the two pages. And I normally cover up the one in the bottom right hand corner because that color doesn't always match with the scheme I'm using. And then I place a checklist on Tuesday along with a to-do header and I've chosen the colors carefully. I didn't want the to-do header to be blue and then the checklist to be blue so I made sure that the checklist was a different color. So I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to use the washi header but because I'm having a hard time deciding I realize I'm going to move on to the functional part of my spread and lay down the quarter boxes which will denote my work shifts for the week. And I sometimes do that. If I have a hard time deciding on an element of my spread, I will just move on to the functional part that I know that I need to put in every week. And then normally inspiration will come from there. So here I know I have eight quarter boxes and then realize I actually don't have enough for all the shifts that I have. So I have to place down that marble one and I'm not really happy with it, but then I'm looking through my phone and realize I don't actually have all the shifts I need for Thursday so I can rearrange those quarter boxes so that they all match. Yay for matching. It's the type A in me. So next I place a bill due on Wednesday and then I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for Friday normally I do a fun corner Friday and I don't know whether I want to use the whole wad like the whole width of the washi or just part of it so I decided to just place part of it down and I don't know why I didn't decide to go the whole width of the page but that actually works very well for me and I place the weekend banner down like that and I place a grocery cart sticker for Friday and I'm gonna place another checklist on Saturday but I'm trying to decide on the color um, but I first placed the washi header there and I wanted to go with a gray one but there was too much gray on that side already so I decided to go with the blue one for a balance of color and I like the layering effect. I placed a this week header and a checklist down at the bottom and then I'm going to place one more half box on Thursday because so I do have the day off but I just want to highlight it with a half box but I want to do a little bit of a cluster. I don't want to just leave the half box and leave it as is. So I take that and as well as one of the flag banners. And I love that. Simple, but pretty. So I place it back in my happy planner and now I go into my journal and use up another full box in the corner and trying to decide what is the best thing to do. Do I want to place washi down at the bottom? Do I want to place washi at the top? And I become really indecisive about where I want to place this washi. So instead, I decide I'm going to make a banner that goes in between Monday and Friday. And I use all parts of the banner because when you cut a fishtail, you're kind of left with one that's going in and one that's going out. So I make sure that I use all parts of that sticker so I don't waste any of it. 
And I don't mind that the banner actually covers up Friday because I mean, I know it's Friday. I've used my Happy Planner long enough to know that it's Friday. I love the look of that. Simple, but so much decoration. And then I place a little Ava sticker in the corner and I'm trying to use little decos to go around the spread because this is my journal, so I need all the white space possible. So little pops of decoration are all that I need. So I placed another little fishtail banner down on Thursday and trying to figure out where to place that ribbon. It's so cute. And then that Ava, oh, I could not decide where I wanted to put her down. So I put her down on the top left-hand corner, place a planner and a ribbon on Friday. And I love how that looks. I'm placing it back in my happy planner. And I'll just take you through what's left of the kit. I barely used any of the headers or the date covers. I only used a couple checklists, a few of the quarter boxes, and a couple of full boxes, and that's it. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.